What's up, everybody? Today we are going to talk about the Google Webmaster Tools. We're going to do a quick little series in the next couple of days. We're going to talk about Google Analytics, and we're going to get into how you add them to your Shopify store. So let's jump into it. Since we're on the subject of SEO, I thought we would uh, show you how to add the Google Webmaster Tools uh, for your Shopify store. Now, the web Google Webmaster Tools allow you to manage your listing on Google. It allows you to select which pages are going to be crawled and which ones are going to be indexed. It's also going to give you an idea of if you have any errors showing up, whether it's uh, on mobile or whether it's um, on uh, URL inspection and performance in your coverage list and that sort of thing. So uh, to get the Google Webmaster Tools set up on Shopify, um, it's actually quite simple to do. First thing you want to do is you want to go over to google.com slash webmaster. And you want to make sure you have a webmaster account. Um, once you get to the webmaster tools, you can go sign in, sign in with your Google account. And then in the top left-hand corner, you're going to have a bunch of properties. So we're going to actually go and add a property. So we're going to add our demo store to uh, the Google webmaster tools so we can see exactly how we can go about uh, seeing who's coming to our site, how they're getting there, where all of our links are showing up. This is super important if you're transferring from another platform. So say you're replatforming and you're coming from a Magento or a WordPress and you're coming over to Shopify and you don't want to lose all of the links that you've spent many, many hours building up. You want to be able to install 301 redirects in order to redirect those people to the new pages or the equivalent pages on your new site. The Webmaster Tools is a great way to do this after you've done the transfer. It allows you to catch anything that you've missed. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go and add a property in here and you put your URL of the site you want to add. Once you've done that, it's going to ask you to verify it. Now there's a number of verification methods. Um, on Shopify, you can't use the HTML version. What you have to do is you have to use the HTML tag version. So we want to copy and paste this tag here um, and then we want to head over to our dashboard. Now since we've been editing a lot of stuff in the code, this should be pretty easy if you've been following along the last couple days. So if you go to online store and then go to theme and then you go to edit code on your active theme, what we want to do is we want to add in this meta value into the theme.liquid. So we'll go to theme.liquid and we'll go into the head because that's where all meta values need to be put in. And as we can see, here is the place we put in our Google keywords, uh, our meta field keyword the other day. Uh, we're going to paste in this meta field um, Google verification right after that. So we're going to put that in there and then we're going to hit save. Once we save that asset and it's now live essentially on the store because we're working on the active theme, we can go back over to Google Search Console and we can go verify. Google will go out and it will make sure that that uh, tag exists on there and once that it does have it existing on there then it'll come up in green and say that it's verified. We can then go to the property. Now it's going to take Google a little while to figure out the indexing for that store. Now since my store is brand new, it doesn't have any links to it from anywhere else, this is probably not going to come up with much stuff. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to a property that I have that does have some stuff on that, which is our Sumbo website. So on the Sumbo website, we can see what our performance is, how many clicks that we're getting. We can see what our coverage report is. We can see that there are zero pages with errors. We can see how many valid pages that it finds and if the uh, number of pages has been reduced. We can check out our mobile usability on it so we can see if there's any uh, all the pages, all the 29 pages that we have are valid. There are no issues listed, which is a great way to find out. If something changes on your website, it's really important to have the Webmaster Tools set up so that you can get notified about this. And this will also link into your Google Analytics and stuff like that, which we'll get into in another lesson. Uh, the other great thing about it is it allows you to check out what your coverage is. So you can see um, which pages that you have that are valid, which ones that you've been that you've actually purposely excluded um, and then if there's any that are valid with warnings so we have a couple we have three pages here that are um, indexed but they're blocked through robot talk to text which is exactly what we want because we have a couple pages on our website that we don't want people finding through the search engine we don't want them going and looking up the search uh, going through google search engine and finding those pages because we want them to actually go through a flow before they get there. And it's mostly our book of call stuff. Um, 
but um, that is basically how you can go through and add the Google Search Console or the Google Webmaster Tools to your website. Thank you guys for stopping by. I'm going to be uploading videos every day for the next 90 days. So please be sure to hit the bell icon so that you can get an update on when those things come through. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this thing as you will, and we'll see you in the next one.